Hi everyone and welcome back to my desk. In a previous video I showed you how I set up Zigbee on my smart home setup with Home Assistant using the son of uh, Zigbee dongle but I made a mistake so I now have another dongle. In that first video I used the Zigbee dongle-p version but when an opportunity came to review some matter enabled sensors I realized that I actually need the ZB dongle dash E so I can make it multi protocol where it can also support Zigbee and Thread so we can connect matter devices over Thread to Home Assistant. Both of the dongles are very similar in shape, size, and function. And the major difference that they have is the chip that they use. The dash E version uses a better chip that can, in theory, do both Zigbee and Thread simultaneously. So you can have one dongle to control devices on different networks. And you do that by flashing a custom firmware where the multi-pan is enabled. However, during my research, I found out that this is no longer the recommended way because the add-on that enables the multi-protocol communication within Home Assistant got deprecated. If you look online, there are a ton of tutorials that tell you how you can use the dongle to flash a custom multi-pan firmware and use a specific add-on within Home Assistant that enables you to have the multi-protocol support. However, when I checked it, I saw that this extension is now deprecated because of too many problems that uh, people had with the, the combined networks. Till now, I have not used this uh, add-on at all within my Home Assistant setup, so I don't know if people actually had troubles or not, but I would trust Silicon Labs for abandoning the project. But at this time, I had to find an alternative how to enable Matter on my Home Assistant and how to enable Thread support. So I searched online for alternatives. I stumbled upon an article from Sonoff where they've said that the multi-protocol is not dead, meaning that they've agreed to take over the development of a new app or on a new add-on. I'm not really sure where this is going, where they're gonna work on the firmware and also work on the add-on for Home Assistant. So it can be integrated again using a supported add-on. And they did a test where they had 100 Zigbee devices and 50 Matter over Thread devices at the same time and everything ran smoothly for multiple days. I'll have a link to this article down in the video description if you want to check it out. And at the end, they mentioned that they'll continue working on upgrading the original Silicon Lab multi-protocol add-on. However, at this time, from my understanding, this is not actually implemented and ready for production. There is, however, in an additional repository, there is a a version that you can still install within Home Assistant. If you go to the add-on store uh, within Home Assistant and you add the iHost open source project repository, then you would be able to find an alternative version of the Silicon Labs multi-protocol add-on that is not disabled and it seems to be working. However, for my setup, because I already have two separate radios and I've read online that it is recommended that you have actually two separate radios for Zigbee and Thread. I'm going to go a different route where I'm actually just going to flash the Thread firmware on the ZB dongle E and I'm going to leave the uh, P version with Zigbee alone because this is not a version of the dongle that you can easily flash and it's not supported in uh, the online flashers. To start with the flashing process, you need to plug in the son of dongle to your computer via USB, and you need to head over to the son of dongle flasher utility that I'm gonna link down in the video description. And here you click on connect, choose the dongle uh, from the com port, and then again, choose uh, to connect again. This will connect to the dongle and it will detect the firmware that is currently being installed. From the factory, the dongle comes installed with the Zigbee firmware, but we need to select change firmware where we can choose to install one of the uh, offered variants. And in my case, I'm gonna choose the OpenThread firmware because I'm gonna dedicate this dongle just for 
thread networks and once we select it we click on the flash button and after a few minutes this uh, process should be done automatically if everything goes uh, as it should once the flashing completes the device will restart automatically and then you can choose to click on the connect button again to verify that the firmware was actually updated. Now, after we flash the firmware, depending on how you run your Home Assistant setup, you may need to do additional step. Uh, in my case, I'm running Home Assistant through Proxmox and I go into multiple details on the setup in my previous Zigbee video, but what we need to do is to add the USB device to the virtual machine that we have. In this case, I only have added the existing dongle and we need to go to add and another usb device then we need to pass a specific device and you can see that i have both of the dongles connected to the machine so i need to select the version 2 and choose to add it after this is done then i'll need to make sure to reboot the actual vm so the changes are uh, being reflected to the Home Assistant instance and once this reboots so we're gonna have the USB within Home Assistant. Once you've connected the dongle to your Home Assistant you can verify that it's actually recognized uh, by going to the settings and then within system and choosing hardware. Here you can select all hardware and search for TTY which should bring all of the USB devices and we can see that we have both the dongle plus and the dongle plus version 2 recognized here so uh, we can continue with the setup within the settings and the devices and services we need to add the thread integration by choosing the add integration and uh, selecting thread from the list and also within settings and add-ons we need to install the open thread border router that needs to be configured to use the version 2 dongle before it's turned on. I chose to disable hardware flow control and automatically flash firmware because that's one of the examples that I seen online. I'm not exactly sure what they do, but I also made sure to enable the watchdog and start the add-on. Before we can finalize the matter setup within Home Assistant, we actually need to install the matter integration within Home Assistant. And when you click to select it, you will be asked if you want to use the official Matter Server Supervisor add-on. If this is the first time that you're setting up Matter, I recommend that you do so. And once you click on Submit, this will actually install the Matter Server add-on. In my case, this is already installed and you can see that the Matter Server is running. So the next step after this, once we have Thread and Matter running on Home Assistant, the final step is to actually add the device that we want to use. Now, if you go to Add Integration, you have the possibility to add a Matter device. And if you click on that, you will be asked if the device is already in use or if this is a new device that you're setting for the first time, depending on your situation, you'll choose differently here. But Keep in mind that in order for you to be able to actually add a device, you will need your mobile phone because usually the way that Matter devices are added is by scanning the QR code that is present on the actual device using your phone and that would add the device. The process itself usually takes a few seconds or minutes depend on the actual network and the device. And after you scan it, the device will either connect through Wi-Fi or use the thread uh, connection that we set up depending on how the actual device is uh, being uh, constructed. In my case, the device that I wanted to connect and test turned out to be a Wi-Fi device. So it connected through Wi-Fi, but now I both have the Zigbee thread and Wi-Fi network to connect any future devices to my setup if I ever need to connect anything else. Any device that you add to Home Assistant, it will be present as per usual within the devices screen where you could see this is the smart presence sensor that we added. In this case, and we have the values for the luminance and the occupancy, but 
I'll do a full review video on this sensor and a few others from Meris. So if you're interested to see more details about it, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I'm going to end the current video right here. We have Matter running on our home assistant and we've discussed how the current deprecated uh, add-on changes how you used to add multi protocol support to home assistant for zigbee and thread at the same time we'll see how the situation develop if i see an interesting happening in that i'll do a follow-up video so again make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos youtube thinks that you're gonna like this video next and i'll see you all in the next one cheers